What's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible, doing a reading for Pisces for the month of May. Um, this is a tarot reading, numerology, astrology. What's up, home team? Uh, the month of May is a universal month nine. This is a great month to wrap things up. We're coming to the end of a cycle before we start a new cycle. So everybody's energy is going to be about completing things, uh, wrapping things up, and getting closure. So keep that in mind. In particular, for Pisces, um, we have a lot of planets going retrograde in the month of May. Uh, so things will slow down. People will rethink things. Uh, there may be a few shakeups. Neptune goes uh, retrograde in Pisces in its own home sign. So for um, Pisces, uh, your intuition may be off about a few things. I wouldn't trust your feelings <laughs> at this time. If you go, if your emotions get a little wacky about things, usually Pisces emotions are on point. With Neptune going retrograde in Pisces, uh, we need to ask ourselves what is the reality of the situation. Because uh, Neptune going retrograde is saying, hey, let's get real, okay? It's, and sometimes it's not about what I feel, but what I see. Uh, and not about what I want to see, but, you know, what's actually there. So you may, have, you may be asked uh, this summer to kind of have a reality check about something in some particular part of your life. Jupiter is also the old ruler of Pisces. It's going retrograde as well, Capricorn. Uh, so less expansion no new opportunities but if something does happen this summer it'll probably be an old opportunity that'll help you out jupiter still provides help in different places of our lives uh, you know and it's retrograde it's not going to be about new opportunities it's about looking at the old opportunities that have happened and how have we uh, expanded on them how, how much have we done with those other planets include Pluto and Saturn going retrograde. Those are a little different. They'll be affecting our lives at all. Everybody's going to get affected to some extent. Everybody's going to be feeling it. So just get ready for it. It's going to be a, a really interesting ride this summer. Let's go to the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say for Pisces. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. If it resonates, go ahead and give me a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to my videos. If you need a more personal reading, something more specific to your life, be sure to book a reading with me. I am available, okay? And like I said, check your rising sign and your moon sign uh, if you would like to get maybe a bigger picture of what's going on. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm just bring up guys and ancestors. I'm going to follow Peter Vaughn. I said it's a Pisces for the month of May. Pisces month of May. Pisces month of May. Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yep, here we go. All right, so there's got the Knight, the Knight of Pentacles. So very slow energies. This is you in the situation. You may be slowing down with something, taking your time. Uh, and like I said, with so much reverse reversal energy, that's normal. So uh, if you feel the need to slow down on a situation to get some assessments, uh, do that. I very, feel a very powerful energy with you, Pisces. You got the Hangman Reverse. This is a feeling like uh, I've done enough sacrificing in my life, uh, and I don't need to do this. I value my gifts and my powers. This is this is also that Neptune retrograde, uh, deciding not to make any more sacrifices because the Neptunian Pisces energy is always like, well, I'll go ahead and sacrifice myself. I think you value what you've been through, and you're like, okay, no, I'm not. I'm not going to make any more sacrifices. Uh, what's on your mind? The Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles tells me that there's been a little bit of too much giving and taking. Somebody's been taking a little bit, a little too much of your energy. Someone's been taking maybe uh, too much of your money, too much of your time. Whatever it is, it's been on your mind. Wow, that rhymed. Oh, again. <laughs> uh, fourth house. What's making you feel powerful and stable? Pisces, you got the Magician card. You feel very much in control of your reality. With this being in the fourth position, this is like, okay, I'm taking control. I know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I know how to get it. I know how to manifest. And actually, it feels like you're manifesting stuff anyways. Like you're manifesting things faster and you're able to realize that you are in control of things. This house. Six. Seven. Let's move that. Okay, so romantically, I feel like uh, you're with... You're pretty happy. You're with somebody. You know, you've got the uh, Six of Cups. Six of Cups in the fifth house shows me that you are happy with someone. Someone does make you happy. Um, this could be someone that you've been with in the past. Someone you've already had a relationship with. 
a past life love or any kind of any kind of energy like that but that energy shows me that this person truly does make you happy you you seem to get along with this person uh in the house of commitments relationships jobs you have the seven of wands you could have a job that's very stressful for you at this time you could be on the defense about something you have a lot of energy a lot of emails a lot of stuff coming at you also if you have a commitment this also is a person who's just putting a lot of stress on you and you maybe you've had an argument and you had to be on the defense about it so this sixth house could be people you have a commitment with a uh, job uh, health you just might be feeling stressed out overall in regards to your mental health or physical health just a lot of stuff coming at you in regards to your relationship you have the moon card very much your energy could be dealing with another pisces the moon card is someone else's energy though and they have a lot of emotional um, connection with you a, love, a spiritual connection with you also this could mean that they're hiding things that they're not revealing everything to you at this moment at this time but they do have some strong emotions to you. They just don't want to let you know. Eighth house. Nine. Ten. Their energy is the Ten of Cups. This is the energy that they're giving out to you. Maybe they aren't ready for a strong commitment. Maybe they're not ready to move forward with some kind of connection. Uh, there is a lot of potential here, though. There's just one slight problem in regards to maybe... Uh, having this maybe you already have a commitment with them but there seems to be some slight energy some slight problem in regards to the ten of cups overall the knight of wands you could be dealing with the fire energy this person has a very uh not necessarily their energy this is the bigger picture of what you need to know is that you need to be adventurous to kind of move on with things have a playful energy um and not take things too serious. I think they may see you as someone who is trying to win at all cost and maybe trying to push them away. I feel like if they have an argument with you, I feel like they're like, okay, this Pisces is not gonna let me win on this. Pisces is, you know, and they may step off, you know. They may have that energy where they're ready to run if things go bad. Uh, Pisces, so I feel like you may get in an argument with them and they may walk off. You don't want this. The Ten of Swords uh, is like, okay, well, maybe you do, maybe you don't. I don't know. Some of you Pisces with the Ten of Swords and the Eleventh House of Wishes, it, it could be that you're ready to end this. You're ready to let this go. I do feel like something something is not making you happy. And you could be dealing with another fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this is about the King of Wands pops up when he tells me that you this could also just be the energy of you're trying to get what you want you're very direct about what you want you're ready to move action you're ready to do something uh and not take any excuses for it the queen of cups is also at the bottom of the deck it tells me that there is a very deep love a very deep giving love it's not that you don't care it's not that you you know are pushing people away but you're very protective about your energy you know there is a top on that cup it's just not open for everybody but they're a uh, very protective energy about who you love and who you give your love to. The Two of Cups is behind that, telling me that there's a lot of love. There's a good connection here. It seems, though, that you're thinking about yourself at this time. The Three of Wands tells me that this is just all the hidden energy, that you're waiting for something. You could be waiting on that person for something. King of Pentacles shows me that uh, you could be focused on money, business, and you could be doing very well in business during the month of May. And Queen of Pentacles right there. I think you guys have a good connection. I feel like this is your other person's energy. Um, I feel like you guys have a very stable energy, but they could be a little bit insecure about something. And once again, we have the waiting, not refusing not to wait. I don't want to wait on something anymore. Page of Cups, reverse. I'm just emotional immaturity. So watching you with your words, what you say when you feel emotional. And the Judgment card finally is Major Arcana card behind that telling me don't make a false judgment don't prejudge things before don't count your eggs before they're hatched Pisces I feel like Pisces your energy is changing to a very realistic cold especially when Neptune goes uh, reversed let's get your energy real quick because I feel like you are going to be dealing with money you're going to be like focused on money and business and you're like okay uh, I've done my part and I don't see anything yet. Six of staffs, yup. You feel kind of stuck in a situation. Six of staffs is I'm all about winning, okay? 
you're going to be have this winning attitude of wanting to do what you want to do and like hey if they're not on board with this then i feel like you're going to probably have some problems clarify this uh what's up the sun card clarify the sun card There seems to be some worry. This person is kind of worried that um, they're losing you, that the sun is going down on the situation. So this is the hidden, the things that you don't see, the things that you don't realize. This, I think your person is worried uh, that they could be losing you. Clarify the moon card. Let's get their energy. Why is the moon card here? Yeah. They're not happy with you. Something has is, is, is gone wrong. The moon card and then the four of staffs. There's a problem there. So somebody, this person does want a relationship, wants a commitment, but kind of doesn't. There's some hidden energy in there because the four tells me that there's some problems with it. Clarify the 10 of cups. This is their energy that they're giving out. Clarify the 10 of cups. death card refusing to transform something is not over something doesn't want to end uh even if you let this person go i feel like also uh with venus retrograde they don't want to let this end they are something is upset about the the uh not having a happy home not having a happy family and the death card reverse refusing to let something end uh, clarify the night Refusing to change as well. You could be dealing with someone who refuses to change, change their ways so that things, so you guys can have a happy Ten of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Eight of Swords. This person is kind of trapped in their head. They got this playful sexual energy. This is about also overthinking. So, um, Eight of Swords and the Knight of Stats. This person. Your person doesn't want to stress out about stuff. They are trapped in their head about things. Could be dealing with fire energy, feel strong fire energy. They want to be happy. They want, they kind of, it could be a very um, in and out type of relationship and very fast. Like they just come in and they want to have this adventure. Uh, but it seems like your energy is a little bit colder. Pisces. You're trying to avoid a bad situation with the tower card. And so you may tell them to go. And I think that's what they're afraid of, that you're going to get rid of them because they're not taking things serious. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I kind of see that. Temperance card. So you're ready to end this. Okay, Pisces, you're ready to like let this go to get what you want. But Temperance card tells me you need to be patient. I think I already said that. Patience. And this has happened in a few people's readings. You're ready to let this go. You're ready to move on. You're not getting what you want. I think this has popped up in your readings before. Clarify the King of Wands. You're realizing something, something that was done in the dark could be dealing with the fire sign. And you're ready to make a move. Okay, so Pisces. What I'm seeing is that you are tired of waiting on somebody. Something is stuck. You're not moving ahead. Um, and you're tired of waiting. You're tired of sacrificing. Capricorn had a similar reading to this. You've been given too much, but you are really in control of your reality right now. Like super in control. You're controlling things. You, the, the ball is in your court right now. This person does make you happy at times, but there's a lot of energy coming at you. There's a lot of energy coming at you. You feel very defensive, but it's happening in a negative way. Maybe your person feels defensive, but I feel like there's, like when you tell them something, they get on a defensive. Yeah, you have to be strong during this time for this commitment to happen. I feel some strong Leo energy there. Your person, I feel they love you. They have some deep emotions for you. Um, the four stat just says there's something that's keeping them from having some type of strong, from being completely happy. From Because the four of wands is like two people getting married, okay? And when it's reversed, it's something keeping them from really being happy with you. 
and I mostly feel like with their energy with the death card, it's just like something is not changing. And you're getting impatient with it. But the Ten of Swords says you're ready to go, you're ready to cut this out. But it's also saying if you want what you want, you're gonna have to be patient. There's some healing that needs to take place with this person. Let me get the energy again. The person needs some healing. They're coming to a completion themselves. I told you this is a month nine. They're, they're, they're coming to some completion themselves. They are, uh, uh, they're ending a cycle themselves. They have to bury a past. They have to put their past to, to death. The death card and the completion card both talk about death. You could be dealing with somebody who's dealing with the death. Who can't let go of something. That could, could be in a most literal sense, but it also could be in a figurative sense. This person, something needs to die in their life for them to move forward. They need to have a completion, but they will. This is what these cards are telling me is you have faith and to you have the faith card in the outcome. This seems like a, a roadblock in your life, Pisces. But you can move forward with this. You're realizing some things, some things that were hidden from you. With the Seven of Swords reversed, things that these are hidden things that come to light. You realize that there's been some hidden things. It also could mean that you've been hiding things from this person and now they're realizing it. And it, and it doesn't have to be anything bad. It could just be like, you know, I'm hiding my true self. But you're trying to avoid a tower moment. They know that. So you're like, hey, if you're not for me, uh, I'm cutting you out. And that's why I feel with these swords. You are cutting people. And they are afraid they're going to lose you. They're very worried about that. Mm. But you're in control. They're very passionate for you. It's a very strong passion. You could be dealing with somebody older, or if you're the older one, they might be younger than you. Somebody ain't ready. But there's some love there. You just you it, the cards are telling you you need to wait on them, be patient, have patience. The month of May for you guys is going to be bumpy in dealing with somebody. And this is I think this is a lover. The two of cups, someone that you really care about, but you're getting tired. You're very tired of uh, being the patient one. All right, let's see what the um. You're like, ah, another month. Another month, gotta deal with this. Animal oracles. Animal oracles. What's the advice of the animal oracles? Advice of the animal oracles, please. Thank you. What's the advice of the animal oracles for man, for Pisces? <laughs> Porcupine spirit. I have a beginner's mind. This is a very defensive energy, man. Pisces, when you get the porcupine spirit, it's like, you don't want to be touched. You don't want somebody touching you. you. You ready to, like, if they touch you the wrong way, they're going to get hurt. And those little prickly things all on. The <laughs> so this card is telling you to put, put your guard down a little bit and have a beginner's mind. <sighs> There's been a lot of stuff that may have happened in the past between you and this other person. And it's saying, okay, just kind of start over a little bit and you're like oh, how many times i gotta start over at this person i feel you i go through it too but porcupine spirit says whatever happens in may you know i know you're fed up you're ready to let this go whatever but have a beginner's mind and just say all right you're going to get the closure that you need but also uh may june is going to be a starting over period so I feel like you're gonna get some information and some closure and you're gonna want, we're gonna be ready. Now, if you feel the need to wrap things up and let somebody go, then do what you need to do, boo. But I still feel some energy here. This more of their fear of losing you and them not wanting to let you go. But if you need to do what you need to do, 10, ten of swords or the temperance card, you know, that's you. That's you, Pisces. You can let them go, but I still see a lot of stuff that says you need to wait, too. Aquarius had another similar reading to that, too. <clears throat> Anywho, 
that's your reading. Uh, make your reality happen because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later. Peace out.